The International Medical Organization, Doctors Without Borders, is calling on warring forces in Ivory Coast to take all necessary measures to ensure that people can safely get medical attention. Humanitarian agencies are also concerned about being uh, able to deliver emergency aid to those who need help. Joining us now on the phone from Abidjan is Jean-Paul Jemmy, MSF Medical Coordinator. Uh, welcome to the show, Jemmy. Well, thank you. Now, briefly, please explain to us uh, what challenges your organization is facing on the ground in Abidjan. Um, yes, I think the first challenges that we face on the ground is our capacity to move freely in the country and in the city, in the city mainly. Um, here in Abidjan, the team are unable to move out. We are bunkerized and we have to confine ourselves and restrict ourselves to the office. We have been there for the past week with um, nearly no movement out of the office with all the staff who were there on, on work, on duty. Um, some of them managed to went back home by foot, but the rest are stuck here. We cannot reach a um, health facility to provide either support or care. So the emergency situation here is quite um, worrying because people, patients neither can seek for care. They, can, they are so scared by the security environment that they have to stay home though they might require some yes. medical attention. Can you say that as we speak right now, there are uh, hundreds or perhaps thousands of people out there who need help urgently, but they cannot receive it? That I can confirm, because um, just for the like, illustration, and I don't tell, uh, like two days ago, we had people coming to our office where we are not supposed to deliver care. And since three days, we have like a small health post open forcefully in the clinic where because you have the skills and because you have some supply, we are 10 patients who is not a clinic. We are someone called by neighbors because you have a, a lady deliver at home and no one able to attend the delivery. So definitely you have a lot of people out there needing attention that cannot get it. Now, does it matter on which part of town you are, if you are in the area that is controlled by, say, the Alassane Water Forces or the areas that are controlled by the Bagbo Forces? That I can tell, but in practice, the curfew applies to all the town and through different contacts that we have with family of staff who are stuck with us or other people who reach their relatives who are somewhere out in town. During curfew time, from 12 noon to 6 a.m., no one move out. Then you have like a small windows where people can move, but no car goes away. So people just can move by foot. So in practice, that limits mm -hmm. the kind of perimeter that you can cover. Yeah, in few words, can you describe this as a humanitarian crisis that the world needs to pay attention to? Definitely, because um, here in Ivory Coast, namely, you have three main um, hospital centers, university level, the third level of references, who are barely supply and struggle to attend the patient they are receiving. We just uh, today and two days ago gave a supply to one of those close to our neighborhood who attend wounded patient but lack basic bandages to just make sure that you can stop an hemorrhage. Oh. So definitely you have a huge need who are not attending. Well, thank you. Thank you very much for giving us those insights. Jean-Paul Jemmy, MSF Medical Coordinator in Abidjan, thank you for joining us here today on In Focus.